Welcome back to Level Up. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can massively improve your flat, boring beginner's camp into something that's a bit more practical with a lot of space for your workbenches, some area for some displays, and to make it look a little bit cooler. So please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you want to see more like this, and let's get straight into it. First of all, what we're going to do is lay out this base like so. It's a two by three, as you can see here. Very, very basic, but this is going to be our foundation to start building on. Then all we are going to do is add some half walls all the way around this base. It is a pretty simple type of base to build, and this is going to help you massively when it comes to organizing early on. This can have literally everything you guys basically need from the start of the game because later on down the line you do need a lot more space because you end up getting a lot more materials but this is what it should look like just the base of your house then we're going to move over to stairs and this is where it starts getting finicky when anytime you guys start adding in stairs or you start adding in some different types of materials into some of these buildings they don't snap as clean as you would like so that can be very very irritating so what we're going to do is then attach these long stairs to the base here so as you can see the long these long stairs here wouldn't attach to the base of the foundation until I attach these steps here now I can attach these steps and it will start letting me build some more floors for the next tier of our house so it's entirely up to you how you guys level this out I tend to like having mine facing one way uh, I don't like them all looking a bit silly and a bit higgledy piggledy so try your best to make sure that they are lined out correctly so we're just going to be lining up um five of these plank floors straight on the floor very very simple and then we are going to jump back over to our half walls we are going to do half walls right here half walls here we are going to leave these two we are not doing them we are going half wall here half wall here half wall here and half wall here so then the next wall we are going to be putting in is going to be these ones right here as you can see and then we are going to jump over to some slanted walls so these are going to give some depth to our base it's yet again entirely up to you how you decide to build this but this is how i'm going to be doing it on my build i like this because like i've already said it's very clean and it's a bit different so Early on, let's go downstairs and have a look and see what our base is starting to look like. You can see there's some shape coming along. It's starting to look a bit funky and it's not as flat as a normal square house anymore. It's getting a bit more detailed. So after we've done that, we are going to be selecting our roofs. And that is when you attach the roof to here. Then you attach a roof to this one. If it will snap on, it won't snap on. So that's fine. So what we'll do, then decide to do is place a wall straight up here. And there is some other ways that you guys can mess around with this to try and get it double-sided. But I am just doing it very, very basic. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm not putting too much effort in because I don't think this is going to be a full-time build for me. I will change it once I start leveling up then we should now be able to attach our roof if it will snap on correctly right so that one will so let's see now if it will do it yep perfect so then we will place another roof here if this one will snap on and as you can see it does it's very very finicky when it comes to the snap walls we'll go back to a wall here for a front door and then we are going to choose a front door entirely up to you to what you've unlocked i've not unlocked entirely much yet i am only smell like grinding out this double times xp and i've got up to level 40 pretty sick to be honest um so i am trying to get my way there once you guys have done that you should start almost be ready to finish your build and then this is when we are going to go back to edit and we are going to add our walls back in so we are going to attach a wall there and we are going to attach a wall there. So your house now is pretty much done. It's, it's, this is your base. So as you can see, we've got a nice little walkthrough door. Then you've got a bedroom. So really what I would do is store all your collectibles in this area here. So it looks quite cool to greet people. And then this could be a bedroom. Pretty sick. And then downstairs, what I personally would do is put all my workbenches and also because the area i am in which is the wayward area 
it's pretty much head on near the vault so most people are going to come down here they're going to see my house and they're going to come to the shops it's either i decide to put them on this side or i am going to decide to put them on that side it's entirely up to you but the next thing we are going to do is going to try and attach some conductors and this can be very very irritating if you guys are trying to attach conductors to places sometimes they can snap on very very easily and sometimes they can snap on very very awkwardly so it takes a few times for you guys to mess it around what i would suggest is just make sure that you guys are checking out if the lights are actually working in the area you are desire desiring for it to snap onto so i like to try and keep mine out of the way so it's not very visible and not many people can see you uh your wires because i think they look ugly personally once you see them all dangling down um so i'm trying my best to keep it as tight as possible as tiny as possible um and that is probably one of the best ways to do it if you guys are trying to get power conductors there is going to be a good way that you can grind them out by doing different nuclear sites and stuff like that different power stations you can claim them workbenches and that's when it unlocks all of that stuff for you and then we have now done that let's go to our generator and like i've said we are going to attach this here out of the way but it's all about the look really if you guys want to build this a little bit more secretive so not many people can see it that's what you can do nice and easily um, for this build because I'm doing it quite quick just to show you how easy a basic base can actually be and still look very, very good. Um, this is going to be a nice quick one too. Something I would probably do is maybe hide that behind your shop and at least that way you haven't got it visible but you've got all the powers in one area which is very, very clean. And then you can see now we are starting to shape up. The reason why I'm doing it on each base, yes, I know there's probably power connecting to there, but the reason why I'm doing that is because it makes the wire not as baggy. If I'm going to show you now, look, I'll move this one here all the way. Let's say, oh, that's too far away, isn't it? Uh, let's try and move it. Try and move it up here just to show you how baggy it can get. So if I'm stretching a wire, from there to there it doesn't look as clean so i try my best to make sure i've got a few decent gaps in between and place them like so so you guys can then have some tight wire system right so now we've done that our base is pretty much all ready to go when it comes to power um i would personally put my vendor uh, where it is my shops i would personally put my vendor right here so it is easy for people to see um yeah, again, that is what you're trying to do when you are selling stuff. You're trying to make it nice, clear, visible, but you want it to look functional as well. So just mess around with it. Try and get the wire to your liking and see what you guys can do with it. Uh, then I'm going to start putting some crafting stations down in this area right here. Uh, have I gone past them? Yep, crafting. Um, this is what I would start doing, placing them in these areas and just keep messing around with it like i've said already you could start seeing the bases taking shape and you can start seeing that it's pretty cool looking at the same time the thing about this is my taste might not actually be your taste so just mess around with it try and find something that actually looks good and something that you want in your camp and just keep playing you can find better alternatives. You could probably make a better base than I can. I'm not saying this is the best beginner's base ever. I'm saying this is a really, really good starting base. Something to work on. Something to build on in the future. Later on down the line. Um, right, so now we've got pretty much our main, our main four crafting systems there. We're going to get a stash box. And you can put it right here. And just like that. So now we're starting to look a bit cleaner, a bit finessed. We are going to go upstairs now and start adding some beds in. Uh, so let's click off that. I want to put a bed on. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to do some more um, tripe like decorating. Not the best decorator, but I'm going to do some decorating. Let me know what you think. Then this is the final product. So obviously I've got a nice little walkway here. I've added in some walls around this bit just because I wanted to finish it off. So I suggest that you guys do it as well. It just looked a bit 
too empty so i've added some extra walls in let me know what you think of that but i've got all my workbenches some displays and i've got a space here ready for when my power armor workbench is ready to actually be built so that is going to be the next thing i'm going to go out look for but then i've built an upstairs where i've just got a nice little pretty display area and then i've got a decent looking bedroom obviously i can add a lot more things to it later on down the line as i unlock them but I think very early on for a beginner's base, it's pretty sick. Let me know down below what you guys think and let me know what you would improve on. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I see you guys in the next one. It means a lot. Peace.